Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video, hope you guys are all doing well. I was thinking, I don't really have many content ideas, I mean, I've been putting out some nice videos recently, top ladder pushes, I played Pump Bow, I played Hoggy Q, and I was just thinking, like, what should I do that most people just enjoy watching, and I realized, just another top ladder push. So here I am, back on Path of Legends Ultimate Champion League, going for about top 500, top 700-ish, something in that range. Uh, I think it's, you know, relatively early in the season still, but it doesn't hurt to get ahead of the curve so we are into our first match against shui he is actually my friend uh he is a really good player if you guys noticed by his like banners i'm gonna go for split arches as well by the way because i need like i can't take damage in both lanes i will still take a lot from those minions sadly so that's kind of tough maybe i should have gone archer stacked in the right and taken the exe damage in the left i'm not really sure but i am going to be down a thousand in single so this is looking like a goblin giant sparky because Shui is a Sparky player, like, you know, Sparky is absolutely broken right now, but to his credit, he has been playing Sparky for a very long time. He actually does a very nice mini P.E.K.K.A., like, I don't think that was uh, reacting to my expo, I don't think that was fast enough to react, I think that was genuinely just, like, uh, premeditated, like, he actually just predicted me, so well played, kind of getting destroyed right now. He's a very good player. Uh, we're friends because we used to play on the same competitive team. I used to play in competitive leagues, believe it or not. And uh, he is from Japan, so I remember calling with him once, and that was just really cool. Uh, so yeah, he's a cool dude. Um, pretty chill guy and really good player, so I'm actually kind of worried right now because I'm going to have to find a way to come back being down a 1,000 already. And against Goblin Giant, it's not easy because... Yeah, this is definitely a Goblin Giant as well. I was about to say, like, certainly a Goblin Giant opportunity. He has a Tornado Rage. Okay, I'm going to Knight to protect my uh, tower and that evo knight is gonna go into shield mode to tank the sparky shot so this should full counter the sparky i believe which is really nice yeah that should oh he gets his own evo knight down okay this is tricky i think i have to get back to my cycle cards uh, I'll, i guess i'll archer just to sack um the sparky hit cycle back to my knight and then i have to get back to an i have to fireball actually that's a really nice fireball i think on the evo knight plus minions and then i have to get archers down last second honestly like clean enough defense but i am down quite a lot of elixir still because i had to spend the whole time defending that was a really well played evo knight on his end and this is the issue with uh goblin giant decks these days guys because they're not like necessarily hard to defend against i guess but they're just really hard to break through against and then eventually they do become hard to defend against because all these like you know sparky beatdown decks eventually they're going to get an advantage and just kind of go off on you uh like because goblin giant has so much hp it's just kind of crazy to be honest uh i think this is an expo uh, and i'll go archers to break the sparky right now i do have an evo knight in cycle as well so i could use it uh to maybe try and break through i don't think this is going to be a connection if he plays well because i mean it's yeah nothing is really happening here i mean i will try i think i can fireball the exe and log the goblin giant uh, spears i think that's the best i can do because at least i'm getting tower damage right which is the goal okay ice spirit does kind of die sadly but uh it should be okay i'll knight before going skeletons because i mean i can't really take that mini pekka uh or rather i can't really let the exe splash the skeletons and mini pekka will go crazy you always want to save skeletons for the mini pekka if you can um, and have them be, like, you know, just unencumbered by anything. Uh, he goes for a Goblin Giant again. I'm just gonna reset Sparky the Bridge. He knows he's up Elixir, I guess. I'll get back to a Knight for the Sparky. He might try some NATO tricks. So I have to be a bit careful of that. Does go Rage Predicting Skeletons, but didn't have them in Cycle, so pretty good for me. This is definitely an Expo opportunity right now. I'm gonna Tesla so the Exe doesn't splash on my Expo plus Archers. And, uh, this should actually be really good. And I'm one off my Evo Knight. So I'll just Ice Spirit to freeze and reset. This is a lock, I think, because, yeah, I have so much on the board, and I have an Evo Knight melting that Goblin Giant. I'll go Archers and log on the Spears, and that is going to take everything out. He has a NATO right now, but that just might be good game, so... Honestly, my efforts paid off, guys. I was able to be pretty patient, you know, defensive expos, playing it safe, playing it casual, until I eventually got a really good position. I just capitalized very well on it, so that's just kind of how, uh, how expo is sometimes. You can't really be too aggressive and impatient, uh, being desperate to get a lock. You have to know when to pick your fights and get the right uh, situation. Like, I went for a nice expo evil knight push before. Usually, you're going to break through in a matchup like this when, with an evil knight defending your expo, by the way, because, like, nothing else can really shred his push that well. That's also just a free fireball. Yeah, that's crazy fireball on like exe minions knight and sparky definitely gonna take that um but yeah like usually you're gonna want the evo knight okay archers i honestly did not think the evo knight would i i guess i'd I don't, I don't even know. I just went archers for some reason. That was maybe not the best pair of archers. I guess maybe part of me thought that wasn't going to be an Evo Knight. I'm not sure. But uh, it goes NATO. Okay, like, well played. Like, good initiative. But 
like doesn't really work. I was kind of ready for it. So that's going to be a good game. A nice win against Shwilliam. The well played and good luck as well. He's or just well played, I guess. Uh, he doesn't really need luck. He gives the good game as well. So good sport. Again, good friend of mine. Shout out to Shui. Uh, he is like a really good ladder player. Like he has been finishing crazy. And I mean, as I said, Sparky's really broken right now. But he's been playing Sparky for like years before it was broken. So I can give him respect for that. Uh, going to be two two nine five medals, as you guys can see by Shui's profile. He's a very good player. So that is a really nice first win of the video. Alright guys, so next match against Ari Rixer. Oh, this guy is little one. I am... I mean, I'm not really friends with him. I know of him. I'm really good friends with Rami, and Rami is friends with this guy, uh, Rami Rage. He is This guy is a Sparky player. He kind of starting-handed me last time we played, and I was actually really tilted, honestly, because uh, he was playing, like, giant mirror Sparky. So he went Sparky first play. I had to go, like, knight opposite. I, I didn't really know what to do. I think I shouldn't have gone knight, though, but uh, then he went mirror Sparky on my knight opposite. Then I was just screwed by that push. Like, he, his counter push just screwed me over. I lost in, like, the first one minute. I was so mad because it was, like, 4 a.m. I was playing. You know, I, I don't, don't even ask why I was playing, by the way. I, like, called my friend, and then it was still, like, it was pretty late at night. Then I just started, decided to play Clash for whatever reason. I tilted, like, 300, by the way. Uh, I'm just going to expo, and this should be GG, to be honest, because... I'm going to punish the pump. It's not the best because, uh, I mean, I'm down quite a lot of elixir. But I do get, like, enough damage to the point where it is going to be a good game if I can defend the next push. Which I'm pretty sure I can. That Sparky is not going to be an issue at all. I don't have to respond to it unless he supports, which he shouldn't. Yeah, he doesn't. Um, on another note, if you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. This is probably going to be the last time I bring this up. But we are actually, like, 50 off 30,000 subscribers. So I think this genuinely is the last video I make where I'm going to be, like, you know, almost at 30k. So absolutely insane. Really love all of you guys for the support and growth has been crazy lately. So, you know, my hard work has been paying off. And I am very grateful to all of you for the support again. Uh, he does rage, which is, like, an okay rage. But it actually misses the Night Witch, first of all. And I didn't go, like, skeletons or anything. I'm going to have to Evo Knight, I think. I don't want that Mother Witch to turn both my archers into pigs. And, yeah, that was a nice defense. I'm going to be down Elixir. He does have a pump. Yeah, he goes Sparky the back. Uh, he still has to respond to this, by the way. Like, that is not enough to counter an Evo Knight. Sparky is one of the best Evo Knight counters, I'd say. But when the shield mode is active, it's not going to be enough, as you can see. So that's actually just going to be tower down. And the Eagle is going to be, like, Eagle him down as well. Because that's going to go down. And, yeah, he has a good game. He knows it. I just have to defend for a minute. But his Elixir weed's kind of gone. Because, I mean, his push kind of died. I think I'll fireball the barbs. Safest play, just fireball the barbs. Archers, and I'll go, like, Ice Spirit Skeletons on the Sparky on his side of the map. Just to take it out, really. And I'm going to be down Elixir because I spent quite a lot. Diego's Night Witch, I'm at 5, so I'm down, like, 5. But to be honest, this is not a hard deck to defend against, I think. He doesn't seem to have, like, problematic cards, like arrows especially. That's the most annoying because it takes Archers out. He does not have arrows, and that helps me out big time. I can also get crazy fireball value in this matchup. Okay, actually, I missed two barbs because somehow the... Archers decided to kite the barbs or something, but it should be fine. I'll just log these blobs. Ice Spirit to cut the barbs back. I'll fireball the Mother Witch to be safe. Again, don't really want a pig infestation. And that is good game. He loves that emote. He did it even last time. But last time we did it, he, like, beat me, so I was really mad because I was like, I, is that BM? I don't know. But, yeah, nice win against Little One. Good game to him. He's a pretty good Sparky player, so credit where credit's due. But I'll give him the good luck for the rest of his ladder matches. And I'm glad I was able to take revenge from last time because I, I honestly had to get starting handed and I was, I was really mad at the time. Uh, he tagged, he like posted on Twitter as well and I got pretty upset. But that's going to be top 1k guys. 2-3-2-3 two, three, two, three medals, so really not bad. Alright guys, I'm coming off of a loss, which was so annoying. I was playing, like, down in my house in the living room, and the Wi-Fi just decided to disconnect. So I was against an RG player, and, uh, like, he went Fisherman, then I went Ice Spirit for it, and it was already, like, weird. Like, there was some weird behavior. It was slow. It was strange. Um, like, the game was being really slow. And then he decided, uh, or he didn't decide to do anything. My game decided to crash because I lagged a lot, and uh, it was really annoying. I'm actually lagging again. If you like, what? Okay, like when the expo is like slow and weird like that. Okay, this is really annoying. Like, oh my god, I don't know. I switched to data, and data has been even worse than Wi-Fi somehow. So you know, I, I literally just lost to RG in like one minute because I I literally just disconnected like in the first like 15 seconds. I got to play like two things and then I couldn't do anything and like he was BMing at the end. He was saying like thanks well played like dude I literally couldn't even play the game like what are you so happy about? So that was really frustrating actually. I was pretty mad about that um, But I mean to be fair, it's just the start of my push. So I'm not, I'm not that mad like 
Honestly, guys, I don't get too mad about this game, uh, especially early season, I guess, because, I mean, I can just stop playing whenever I want. Uh, but when I do get mad is usually when it's, like, end season, and I tilt, like, 150, 250, maybe even 300. Then I genuinely get upset. Like, that's the only time I'll actually get mad about this game, when it's, like, high stakes, or, like, say, last loss in a GT, when I'm at 24 wins, one off a secured badge, and then I lose. That's actually happened to me last time, and I was really mad about it on my keepsakes account. I was pretty sad about it, but, yeah, usually I don't get too mad, I guess. Um... But that was just annoying, like, why was he BMing? Like, he did something, I literally just disconnected. And it was like, yeah, it was RG, but I, I, I usually beat RG, like, if I play well. I'm gonna Expo, I feel like, you know, he has E-Giant in here, but, uh, I can just, like, defend this, and I might even get a lock, because I have Tesla helping out as well. If I log, okay, smart Mother Witch, well played. If you didn't get that Mother Witch down, I think that might have been a lock, or maybe I'm wrong, because the Expo died anyways, but... You know, that, like, that definitely would have been solid, I think. So that was just a good expo initiative, I feel. Because now I've watched, like, a Lizzie giant. I could maybe make something happen. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go in. I can just skeletons to full counter this eye drag. Then I can go expo Evo Knight, and he's going to be in trouble. He goes cannon. Yep, okay. I'll log it back. If he doesn't get something down, that's a good game. Okay, it's Dark Prince. All archers. He's still not back to E giant, and. Okay, Mother Witch is a pain. Wow, Evo Skelly's actually put in work. That was crazy. What? Okay, I, I was not expecting that. Damn. They kind of shut every, everything down. Honestly, guys, Evo Skellies are a really strong evolution right now. Like, probably, I guess, like, top five evolutions. They got a big buff. Like, they got that their max amount. They, they got their cycle buff first. Okay, I'm going to have to go defensive expo here. It's the only play. Because I can't get back to a Tesla this fast. So I'll have to defensive expo. Um, Ice Spirit to hold the E-Giant in place in the middle. Like, that was honestly... I realized as soon as I went Tesla, like, okay, why did I do that? This is not, like, Splash Yard where I can go Tesla like that. It's actually E-Giant where I need the Tesla on defense. So, kind of my bad. I had to waste a defensive expo, but that is, you know, still a play you can make. Like, good to know. In, like, a last-ditch effort or, like, a tough situation, you know? You can expo like that. He's being pretty aggro with this E-Giant push, and I'm honestly all for it. He goes Lightning. I'll have to get back to my Tesla. Uh, I'm actually back to a Tesla now, so let me just get that down. And I think I could honestly get him right here, because he has to respond to the Evo Knight, I hope at least. And then I can go Expo and Archers to predict the cannon. So I'll wait till I'm at like 8 Elixir, guys. I don't want to Expo at 6, because I want to have enough to afford the Archers right away. So let me just get that down. As he's not back to cannon right now, goes Dark Prince, and I'll, I'll log all this back. And that should be a lock. Um, I'll Ice Spirit for this side, Skeletons for the Eye Drag, and that is going to be a lock. I'll Knight as well. He might NATO, and I definitely, yep, I have to get this lock, because I, I need a lock. And that's a good game at this point, because uh, this damage is all I needed. So, honestly, a big part of Expo, guys, is knowing exactly when to pick your spots, and that was definitely one of them, where... Uh, I knew that was one, probably my only opportunity in this game to get an expo connection, and I just needed it, because otherwise he was going to out-damage me with lightning cycle eventually, so I'm glad I was able to get it. Now I can just full defend for one minute and triple, and that's going to be a nice win against E-Giant. So I'll knight to protect my Tesla, defensive expo, and wow, somehow that cannon bypasses my knight, goes on to the Tesla. I guess I played it too low, but that was uh, interesting. Um, but I'll defensive expo, anti-lightning placement, just because I, if he goes E-Giant the back, like I can't really let him set up a push. And I'm certainly not going to go offensive expo on the left. That's definitely not happening anytime soon. So I'll archers here. I stacked archers against the eye drag, by the way, just because I feel like, you know, it's, it's a solid play. I'll get back to my knight. I'll Tesla for the mother witch before she causes too many issues, uh, like turning everything into pigs as she does. And I'll ice spirit as well. You know, that's going to reset. Defensive expo. And this should be, yeah, a good game. I can go, I don't even have to care about lightning value this time because he can lightning. But then that means he won't have a lightning for my Tesla, which I do have a Tesla now. I don't even need it, actually. I do not need the Tesla. So, nice defense. Uh, stacked archers, you guys can see, very important in this matchup because they don't actually have a way of killing them. You know, only having lightning in the deck. And they can nato them into the E-Giant, but otherwise, stacked archers go crazy. So, archers in the same lane. Very Cree, uh, very key. I was going to say crucial and key. I said Cree. Very, like, key in any E-Giant matchup. So, we recovered from that one loss against the RG disconnect. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, another match against a Chinese player. Let's see what he's going to be running. Getting him the good luck. Let's see what's up. Um, with this hand, I can just split exp uh, split archers, not expo, because uh, I have expo and cycle. Ice golem hog, okay. As soon as I saw the ice golem, I knew it was probably going to hog in front, because no one goes ice golem at the bridge like that. Uh, so 2.6, interesting matchup. I'm going to go in right now, because that was pretty aggro, and he does not have an ice golem to tank. Going to ice spirit 2 if he doesn't get something down. That's going to be a lock. He does get the skeletons down. Well played. I'll log. This should still be a lock, actually. He has to just play something else. Otherwise, it's going to be a lock right there. We do get a mini expo lock, so not bad. Uh, about like 500 damage. Oh, well played hog. Wow, I'm, I can't Tesla in time, so I'll just knight instead. Because if I go Tesla, I'll only screw myself even more. Because I knew I was at 3, I wouldn't have enough for 4 by the time the hog uh, connects to the tower. So it would 
honestly connect then if it went tesla late i would have taken like the same damage as i took just now maybe even more and i would have had tesla even further out of cycle so you know it was just a terrible play honestly i'm gonna expo and archers i think for the cannon and then i can just get away with like cycle cards and the musketeer so archers for the cannon okay he did he did a good ice golem opposite i was trying to get him but he knew what he was doing archers or, or skeletons too rather for the musketeer and now i'm a bit worried because if he has hog if he goes for it right now i might lose the game that being said, he did go for the cannon last second, so we shouldn't have enough to afford it right away. So yeah, I'm fine. See, this is the issue with 2.6, in my opinion, and the, about the matchup at least. You can't really break through that well, or like ever, honestly, if they know what they're doing. Like, you can't break through. They ha they can defend for years and get away with it, so that's just why I dislike this matchup, to be honest. Um, but it shouldn't be too big of a deal. I'll knight the back, so I think a big key in this matchup, guys, which really helped us out, thanks to the introduction of Evo Knight, is I like cycling to Evo Knights and using them to build up big pushes, because you're going to have trouble like building up normal pushes otherwise. I'll log that Evo Skelly before it does anything, and then I will stack archers for this uh, left side. Shouldn't be any hits on the left. And the knight should help against the hog as well. Yeah, I, he's supposed to respond a bit. He did get away with it. But as you guys can see, I'm back to my Evo Knight now. And I'm just going to build up another Evo Knight push. So you guys can see, like, a big thing I'm doing in this matchup is knight cycle. So I'm not going, like, expo knight at the bridge. I'm going, like, knight. And then, like, constantly knight the back. And also not same lane ever. I shouldn't really have to say that. But a big fundamental is, you know, just, uh like going opposite lane in a matchup like this because you don't want to give them spell value on your weak side tower and your expo i think that goes without saying i'll log this if you didn't get the ice golem down that would have been a lock so you always keep them on their toes he is probably going to hog in a second here because my tesla's almost dead like this is a good time to hog because i have to like str scramble for a weird awkward tesla i'll see skeletons for the ice spirit and yeah he does fireball i will log i don't really want to but i don't want to take that hog hit so i will and i can definitely expo this is another benefit of going knight uh, the back in a matchup like this, guys, because I can, like, build up an expo push without really committing to it right away, if that makes sense. I'll get a second knight down just to protect my archers, and I can expo for sure right now. Um, I'll just expo. I have two knights I s still. I, st I have my stacked archers. He goes evo skellies. That's actually probably going to clean everything up. Wow, evo skellies are really strong right now. Uh, skeletons to predict. I have to come back somehow. I'm down, like, 600. Knight ice spirit. That should only be one hogget, I think, because Knight's going to go crazy. Yep. And he still has to respond. I'm going to get a second expo down in a second here. That Ice Golem coming down is actually really helpful for me, because this Knight is going to tank for the entire side. That's a lock right there. Yep, I knew it, because the hog was in midair. I'll log it back to get even more damage. And, oh, sadly gets another hit, but that's going to put me back in the lead. That's probably a good game at this point, because now I can just keep pressuring, and uh, I'm already up like a fireball, basically, right? So, again, you, you guys will notice, like, every single Knight I've played is, like, Knight the back and the right. He also lets me get a lot of damage in the left with that knight, which I'm not really going to use, but it's just good to have, I guess. Um, but yeah, like I, I'm just always going knight the back and the right, and just building up big pushes, and it's been coming in very clutch. I log this musketeer back, nothing else in cycle for it, really. Tesla to snipe this musketeer preemptively, and then expo, because uh, Tesla will stay alive. Skeletons protect it. Oh wow, he actually gets a cannon on it, so I'll archer's ice spirit to make sure it doesn't do too much. I'll knight in case he goes cannon on my expo. And then I can actually just fireball tower, I think. Yeah, I'll fireball tower. He fireballs back. So, like, fair enough. We just trade fireballs. I'm still up right, but right now, by the way. And I'm going to expo again. I'm back to an Evo Knight, so this should go kind of crazy, this push. I'll archers. I'll get my Evo Knight in uh, play in a second here. I'll log this hog back as well. Maybe get a lock. And then I can expo again. I think one more expo and then fireball cycle is going to be the move. Because I'm just pressuring constantly, not really letting him, like breathe like he has to worry about defending every single expo and i'm definitely gonna need a lock at some point that or i'm just gonna pressure enough yeah to the point where i end up being up 500 which puts me up enough just to the point where i can uh, just fireball and uh, be up like he has to worry about defending the expo every time so he's gonna be in trouble like yeah he kind of got spread a bit too thin there so that's a nice win really good pressure against 2.6 and triple again just using the evil knight and multiple expos to force him to defend and just have my initiative in the match so I don't like 2.6 that much, but I feel like Evenite definitely helped us out in the matchup quite a lot. As you guys can see, I was definitely playing it to my advantage the whole game. So that's going to be 7.75 in the world now. Doing really well. And as you guys can see, that is the real annoying loss against RG I got. But still, you know, we're making it back up there. Alright guys, so I'm a match against a Japanese player. Um, I sadly lost another one. Uh, but I should be good. I'm going to split archers. I think uh, sometimes you just have, like, bad matches. He, go he goes barbs in the back. I'm going to expo because, uh, okay, Barb's Lumberjack. I don't really know what this is, honestly, but, I mean, I'm okay. 
with uh, what's happening right now. Like, he's at 2 elixir, 3 elixir. I'm gonna go skeletons, cut these barbs out of range, and that's gonna be a lock right there. Unless he has, like, something for this expo. Yeah, he has a barbell, still gonna be a lock, though. I'll ice spirit to capitalize even more on the lock. You guys know I always say this in my videos, but catching barb barrels is imperative for success with this deck. And if I didn't get that catch, I would have gotten, like, maybe 100 damage max. Two, or not, 110. Uh, like, maybe like 220 damage max or so, like, not many expo ticks, but I was able to get a little bit more just because of that, and honestly, everything counts, so, you know, that was nice. He goes golem, really weird golem, actually, I don't think this is normal golem behavior, but <laughs> I, I don't know, like, an interesting play for sure, just golem like that in single, golem low as well. Uh, you drag it down low, I'm gonna get back to my archers in a second here to start DPSing, and I'm probably gonna take a bunch of damage here because my Tesla is dead, but I can probably get a nice counter push out of this, honestly. So we'll go archers. E-Drag is chaining the tower, which is a huge pain. He actually misses one archer, guy, so that's a nice little placement I used. And this is honestly good game because he's down so much elixir. He's back to Evo Barbs, but I have Fireball in one elixir, so he's probably screwed. Yeah, he cannot get anything down. He, okay, he can get a Lumberjack down, I guess, but not Evo Barbs. Yeah, Lumberjack. I'll go Night Log. He can't afford anything except a Bar Barrel right now based on his hand, and I will catch it with my Ice Spirit Skeletons, as I said. Very important to catch, and I do get that catch, and that's good game because... He's laughing. I'm going to say good game. Like, why is he upset? He literally went golem, e-drag, nato, like, super aggro in single. He got damage for it, but I was smart. You know, I didn't overcommit and waste my entire elixir bar on that defense. I knew it was an opportunity to counter push, and I went for exactly that. Like, Expo can definitely be a nice counter push deck. I'm going to pressure right now because I feel like it's solid. Like, if he ignores this Expo and goes all in with the golem, that's just going to be tower down the left, and I'll win the tower trade, so I'm honestly fine with this. Knight first, cycle back to my Evo Knight. Archer's slightly spaced from the Expo, so you guys can see it does not get chained by the E-Drag, to the point where he actually has to NATO them in, which wastes his E-Drag plus NATO, so that's a 9 for 8 in the left. Honestly, very worth it, especially because I got his E-Drag out of commission, so he can't E-Drag with this Golem push. And that is good game. There's only 28 seconds left. Like, this is kind of a joke. I have archers counter pushing too. And just, like, helping out against a future golem. Like, this is over. Goes golem in the left for some reason. I guess not to go into archers. But he doesn't have, like, the best golem deck. He has, like, goblin cage. Evo barbs fireball for whatever reason. He has a fireball, right? Like, that was really weird. Um, but, I mean, I'm not really... Like, I, I don't know what, my, what else to say. Like, he played pretty bad in single. He played too aggro. And honestly, with Expo Cycle, you just punish those plays sometimes. So, I'll BM him because he was BMing first. And, yeah, nice win against Golem. Really weird deck. Alright, guys. So, our next match against Miku. We are now two wins away from 2400. Which I think will be the goal. He's in, he's in Spray as Noob. Uh, that's, I, I actually recognize the clan. I have some friends in there, like Expo players. I'm gonna go Tesla, then Skeletons. Tesla first, just so I can cycle back to my Tesla one faster. If I want Skeletons Tesla, you know, I'd cycle back to my Skeletons first, which I don't really want, because he's obviously trying to outcycle my Tesla with a Hog Rider deck, so I'm just not gonna let that happen. Split Archers with this hand, because I have Expo next up, I can probably pressure. And he's probably playing, uh, Hoggy Q, if I had to guess. Yeah, there's the Firecracker. Oh, Expo Knight. And then I have my Ice Spirit to activate King 100% off the Firecracker. Because he's not going to stop like this. Uh, yeah, he can't support the Firecracker. So that's going to be a nice connection. Or a nice King Tower activation, rather. Connection of the Firecracker to my King, I guess. And Skeletons. Okay, so he's playing. He has Rocket, I just didn't realize. So, Hog Rocket, very interesting matchup. A big thing in this matchup, guys, is going to be Spell Cycle. I'll tell you right now, before the match is even, like, really gone that far. Because... You can't really ever break through in the matchup like this, unless they try and defend an expo without a rocket, and they do everything they can to like do that, and you, you predict them and get everything right. Otherwise, you're not really going to ever break through, and so you're probably just going to have to go for your fireballs on tower. Like Sometimes they're just naked fireball tower. Uh, sometimes I will like try and fireball a knight, for example. I'm actually just going to fireball right now, because I can't really expo. He'll just, fire he'll just like, rocket it off. So I'll just fireball. Yeah, honestly, because he went firecracker on an archer. Like, I think it's a fair trade to just fireball right there. So I'm honestly fine with that. Like, he's up a bit of elixir, but I think I stand by this fireball. And against Hoggy Q in general, I'm, like, always fireball cycling. Or Hog Rocket, rather. I'm always fireball cycling. Even against Hoggy Q, I'm fireball cycling pretty often, though. Because, I mean, they have lots of kind of... Like, he has a building in here, no doubt. So I can't really... Yeah, he's a Tesla. I'm actually going to expo in the left. I can't go anywhere in the right. So well-played Tesla. Like, well-placed. I'll expo if he goes, yeah, if he tried to defend without a rocket, I might have gotten a big lock, but he does get the defense off, and I don't want to play anything into that Tesla, so I'll actually just fireball. He also can't punish this, by the way, because he has, like, hog, and I can just Tesla for it. I also have an activated king. 
He does go hog like that. He has an Evo Knight in cycle now. Very important as well, by the way, guys, to track Evo. So there it is. But they should still be pretty easy to defend. I'll Knight Icebird to hold the hog in place. Log to log everything back and clip the Firecracker too. Very high value log. And then I'm back to a Tesla, which I was able to get back to. So he went hog the back. I went Tesla the middle. Like pretty standard stuff. I'm not really letting him out cycle me. Like no need to go hog or no need to go Tesla super late. Like anything like that, really. I'm going to Expo right now and then Knight to predict a Tesla. Uh, he does not go for it. This goes for the rocket. I will once again just fireball. Like, once again, I'm fireballing his tower. You know, I'm literally just fireballing his tower. And I'm going to be in the lead for that. Plus, he just rocketed, so he can't really punish me for this. Um, unless he ever gets hog hits, he has to rocket cycle my tower. And at that point, I can probably start punishing with expos. So I feel like I'm in a good position. I'm going to log. Uh, I'm going to ice spirit to pressure against the knight. I think it should maybe jump, and I'll knight to match his knight. He goes for a rocket. Honestly, well played, because I can't really go in. Like, he has a knight coming down to match my knight. I'll go Expo Tesla the left, I think. Um, this should be okay. He goes hog. I think he was going hog either way. I'll log, though, and keep the Tesla alive, because he probably wants a Tesla. No, he gets back to his Evo Knight. That's actually going to bail him out, because, yeah, I can't really break through an Evo Knight. I don't want to waste my own, to be honest. Like, I don't really want to waste my own here. I could have, but I have all my damage in the right lane, so I don't really feel comfortable like going all in in the left. Now that I have the Evo Knight coming down, I'm going to go for an Expo, Archer to break the Tesla. Goes hog like that. Um, I'll Tesla for it, I guess. And then Skeletons. He does. He's still not going Tesla, but I, oh, that's maybe a mistake. Maybe I can get a lock by logging that, and he gets a hog down last second. Man, okay, Evo Knight's going to get damage in the left, though. One, two, three four okay four hits is a lot i can actually actually I had, i'm actually in the lead because of that evil knight g's and he goes prediction tesla on my expo on the right oh i missed the tower that's huge guys i did hit the firecracker though so honestly not a bad fireball considering i hit the firecracker because if i like i still got about six elixir worth of value because i hit the knight plus the firecracker so honestly i think that was okay even though i missed tower which is the which is obviously the main goal it's still okay that i didn't like uh completely waste one gonna knight he goes rocket cycle knight does catch the tesla very nice and i have to get a lock right now if i don't he might win because if he defends this and rockets again i lose i have to fireball so i'm just gonna fireball right now log everything back that should be a lock i think and we get a lock nice so honestly guys very important when you're going offense like this is to use your spells well fireball the tower and always get logs down to try and clip their skeletons clip their firecrackers you know what it is because that log was able to win me the game by clearing everything up he kind of panicked or didn't have elixir or didn't have the cycle whatever it is to get something down in time and that was a nice win gonna put me again one off 2.4k let's get the final match in all right guys found a match against same machine wow this guy has like really good finishes um i don't know what's up with my ladder push today but i've been getting like lots of great players like shui this guy like many top 100 finishers in both gts and ladders so i guess they just want me to fight for my trophies uh bar barrel is a good sign i'm gonna hover expo opposite yeah he goes baby dragon so this could be golem or splash yard or, I guess, something else, maybe Lumber Loon. But Tombstone means probably, yeah, it's gonna be Splash Yard, all archers. And honestly, I feel like this is pretty good for me. Splash Yard is really good. Not like really, really good, but it's a good matchup for me, no doubt. I'll have to go with like a nice Ice Spirit Skeletons here. So, Ice Spirit to freeze everything, and then Skeletons got the Baby Dragon opposite. Hopefully, I can get it off. And I do get the play very nice. So, that's gonna be no damage taken. Very nice micro and uh yeah splash yard honestly i'm i'm down for this matchup i'm already almost back to an evo knight like i'll go for my knight right now i'll get back to one before he gets back to one and then i can probably pressure and if he goes for anything i'll fireball it so okay i'm except for that except for baby dragon i'll just tesla i like to do this so you know i made this mistake against the e-giant deck but now you can actually tesla like this because it's actually going to pressure them like you can you're always threatening to expo with this tesla i'll fireball the tombstone just get a free fireball on tower big thing in this matchup for me personally is spell cycle especially fireball cycle like i personally play this matchup very fireball cycle heavy um sometimes even too heavy actually like sometimes i should be pressuring a bit more uh but yeah, it's honestly a nice way to play. I'll cut this knight out of expo range with my ice spirit. I'll get my evo knight down to tank, and that's going to be a lock. Going to catch the barbell with my skeletons too. Again, just that was like, what, 200 extra damage? But everything counts, right? Like, every bit of damage counts. I'm going to fireball again, because this might be a lock. 
like an Evo Knight connection on the tower. No, he gets an Ice Wiz down, but see, I forced the Ice Wiz out. And I'm going to ignore this Ice Wiz, guys, because I don't want to waste a log on it. Definitely not wasting Archers or Tesla on it. The only good play here would be a log. But I am actually fine giving him damage on the right, because I don't want him to go same lane as me. Um, so I'm actually just going to let the Ice Wizard connect for a bit and, like, put him in the damage lead in the right, like, as far as his damage goes. Going to expo the left, because I don't want the Baby Dragon to, like, go in. Like, usually a big thing in this matchup is also just pressuring at the right time. Not to get a lock, but just to not let them build up a big push. Because you guys will notice, I haven't let him go for a single graveyard yet. That's a bad tombstone because I can fireball it. Although I guess it doesn't really matter because I could fireball either side at this point. I'll get a second Tesla down, I suppose. And okay, I have to expo because he goes baby dragon. I don't have anything in cycle for that. So I'm just going to expo right now and force him to defend this. He goes Evo Knight. I'll kite it out of expo. Uh, actually, I'll kite it into the Tesla. Expo is actually already on tower. I didn't even need to kite that. Wow, I guess that was already out of range. Okay, I have to log once the archers die. I spirit to hold this in place, and then I have to fireball on defense. That's the only play right now, so I'll fireball double baby dragons plus ice whiz. You know, I take a lot of damage, but that sh I should survive. I, I won't lose the game for that. So yeah, nice win. Pretty interesting tower trade he went for. Like he tried to go all in, and it kind of worked out for me a lot more than him. Because honestly, like you just if you, this exo player defends well, like an all out push like that is defendable. But that's a nice win against a top splash yard player. Took me at 590 in the world, 2400 medals as you guys can see so got the goal very nice stuff and yeah pretty happy with that so gonna be some nice wins against golem then hog rocket and then this good splash yard player who was a really good player like yeah top 30 ladder is crazy i don't know if that's an alt or something but yeah nice win so that's about it for the video hope you guys enjoyed the top ladder push take care and i will see you in the next one